So hey, what's up guys? It's B Dog. Today I'm coming at you with another video. This is gonna be my favorite movies. Okay, so my favorite movies, this is very non-specific. Basically, I'm just taking a movie that I really, really like, and I'm gonna talk about it and why I like it. Uh, it's a movie review, but uh, it's an excuse for me to do a movie that's already came out to talk about something that I'm passionate about. And this movie is definitely something that I'm passionate about. Birdman. I like this movie. It is my favorite movie. I've changed my mind. It's no longer at The Exorcist. Officially, Birdman is my favorite movie. Birdman. <laughs> Quick plot. Riggan Thompson, played by Michael Keaton, is Birdman in this universe. He's a famous superhero and he's trying to stay relevant by creating a play in New York City. He's doing it with his friend Jake, played by Zach Galifianakis, his daughter Sam, who's a struggling drug addict. And also there's Edward Norton, who plays Mike Shiner, who's a pretty famous actor, who comes into the play last minute. So that's basically it. You know, it's Riggins' struggle with becoming famous again. This is going to be different. Usually I do pros and cons, but for these I'm not going to because there's not really any cons. So the acting. Michael Keaton. He delivers such a great performance. He really shows what this character is and plays the character's madness because that's a part of it. This guy's insane, straight up. He's fame obsessed and it's driven him mad. And that's something important. And he, he really encapsulates that character and looks so worn down and just destroyed. Such a great performance. His daughter, Sam, she has that kind of kiddish vibe to her, but in, in some ways she seems mature. And then you can definitely see she's also a broken character with how she looks and how she acts. And she resents her father a lot because he was never there because he was trying to be famous. And then Jake, Zach Galifianakis plays a good like double-sided coin kind of thing because he shows a lot of caring for... Rick and Thompson and he acts like he's best friend but you can definitely see that he's fame obsessed as well and he just wants to be relevant he literally says in this movie it's about being respected it's about being validated and that's what's important to him and the last major important character Edward Norton's portrayal of Mike Shiner he's nuts and Edward Norton plays him so well he's just so caught up into acting he can do anything on stage Wait a minute, did you say anything? Anything. Anything. But he can't do stuff in real life. Like, he, he literally tries to have sex with his girlfriend. And they, they haven't had sex in like six months. That's from my understanding of what they were talking about. You know, he can do anything on stage. It's, he's not acting out there. And he says that in the movie, and that's important. So let's move on. Uh, some of the more technical elements. The scenery, the set pieces and all of that look great. The lighting... It's just fantastic, and one of the most notable things about this movie is the cinematography. It leaves an important stamp on this movie. The cinematography really makes you feel like you're in this world, you're watching these people go about their lives and try to accomplish their dreams, because it's all taken in one shot, and a lot of times it's following them. Well, it's not actually one shot. It's so great in that aspect. The story is gripping and it develops the character so well. It tells such an interesting story. Follows it and the endings, in a way, it leaves you a little bit befuddled and kind of heartbroken in a way because you care for Riggan Thompson. But he's basically destroyed himself. And you're like, why couldn't it happen some other way? But in reality, you know that this is the perfect ending of the movie. And that actually really happens to me where I get that feeling of like absolute heartbreak. But I know that it has to be that way in order for the movie to be as great as it is. And that's what this movie does. That's, that's why I like it so much. The ending is absolutely fantastic. I probably should have ended with the story. But sound, the sound is also a great part of this movie. It's very underrated. Apparently the guy who created the soundtrack couldn't get an Oscar for it because they said it wasn't original because there were some classical pieces in there as well. I, I don't know how that works. I guess it's a best original score. It's kind of confusing. The parts that were his own were fantastic. It really gave a, like a, a New York theater-esque. You know, it kind of had that like, um, there, there were drum beats to it. And it gave me that kind of like poetry lounge kind of feel 
almost but not too much to where it made you constantly think of that it, it just it felt like performing art that's what makes this movie so great it's just little thing that just make the movie so much better you don't think that it will or it should just these small little minute details but it just elevates it that much more and it makes it to me a perfect film i'm sure you can tell me that it's not and come up with a bunch of different reasons but not many movies leave me with such a full emotion of what's going on in the story amazement in this universe of how invested i am in this story and i really can't find stuff wrong with it i've, I've seen this movie several times over i really like this movie i'm gonna give this movie an a plus so that's it guys thank you for watching but that's it so please like comment what you thought of this video comment what you thought of this movie Hopefully you liked it, just like as much as me. Follow me on Twitter. I also have an Instagram that I'll put right there. Please do that. Uh, Instagram is a little bit less important. I'm starting to get more active into Twitter. Please follow me on Twitter. But apparently everybody follows me on Instagram because of Alex. Whatever. Give me support any way you can. But please subscribe. Well, that's it. See you guys later. Big dog.